Welcome everyone in this video we will take a look at how to set up Windows 95 VM easily using VirtualBox uh, with all the required drivers needed to run the old Windows 95 games and software. First, you will need Oracle VirtualBox. This is where you can download it. All the download links that I am mentioning in this video are in the description. Next, from the WinWorld PC site for Windows 98, you need to first download this Windows 95 ISO image, which has Microsoft Plus bundled with it. Also, you need to download the boot floppy disk image as well for this setup. You may also need this fix 95 CPU ISO file in case you run into copy protection error while you are starting the VM after installation. You can download it from this link. Then you will also need this 256color.iso to enable the 256 colors and higher resolutions. And I have added all the download links in the description as well. Now first, let's do the virtual machine creation. Click on new, give the name of your VM and then the path where you want the VM files to be placed. You can see it automatically detects correct Windows version from the name. If it is incorrect, you can select it manually. For RAM, we will go with the default configuration. We will not change it. For the disk, we will also select all default values. Create a virtual hard disk now, then VDI and then after that dynamically allocated then we'll select the size i think we should keep it the default one 2 gb i think it's sufficient and then once the vm is created you can revisit and change the settings by clicking on the settings button please take a look at the configuration that i have here so that you can refer to it when you are creating the vm yourself We will come back to the storage as uh, we will need to do some more changes there. Other than that, all the configuration is kept at default values. In storage, under controller floppy, click on empty and then at the right hand corner click on the floppy icon click on choose a disk file since we haven't extracted the downloaded 7z files we cannot select the iso and the floppy image so let's go ahead and extract the files first i have placed it on my desktop only for simplicity boot disk is the floppy and the other one is the disk image of the actual windows 95 installation once all are extracted locate the boot disk directory and then select disk 01.img file in controller id click on the empty disk then go to the right hand corner where you can see the disk icon click it and click on choose a disk file then locate the windows 95 iso which is named as disk01.iso select it then after that click on ok and we are done with the configuration and we can start the windows installation now click on start to start the VM, it will automatically pick up the floppy boot disk image. We need to select the first option, load NEC IDE CD-ROM drive. Once it is loaded and we get the prompt, run F disk for disk setup. We will enable large disk support, so press Y then enter. Choose one to create the DOS partition then hit enter. Here also choose one to create the primary DOS partition then enter then press Y and then again enter. Once it is done you can then reset the VM going into the machine menu and then clicking on reset. Once it restarts again choose the first option again to load CD-ROM drivers and then when you get the prompt type format C colon and then press enter. All the data will be lost on C, so that is fine. Uh, you can press Y and then enter. Since this is a new disk, we are okay. For volume label, click enter. If you want to give any specific label, you can type it and press enter. Once it is done, you can go into C drive, copy the contents of the CD-ROM drive and run setup. Or we can directly run setup from CD-ROM drive itself by going to that drive. So run D colon. 
cd win 95 and then type setup press enter to continue and the setup starts click on continue here then you will get a license agreement click on yes to accept it then it launches the setup wizard click on next we will use c windows so click next now here you can go ahead with the typical setup i will choose the custom one just to see what else i can add here now it will ask you the product key so you can give the product key and then you can after that click on next here provide the username uh, we will give zeus gaming then we click next select yes and then click next here uh, here we'll not use the network so I will select just the sound and then move to the next step. Now here it is analyzing the computer hardware resources. Once it finishes you can go through the components here and select what you need and what you don't need. Let's see what is not added in accessories. We will add games, desktop wallpapers and mouse pointers. Then let's see multimedia. Let's add multimedia sound schemes and sample sounds. Now click OK and then proceed to the next step. Here also next for logging in with the simple Windows login. Then next for startup disk choose no here and then click on next. Then again click next. Now the file copy and the setup part will actually begin. Once it is done, it will ask for a restart and to remove all the disk. Don't remove the disk, just restart the VM. As soon as you get the VirtualBox screen, press F12 to open the boot menu and select the primary master to boot from the hard drive by pressing 1. Now your Windows 95 environment setup will begin. Choose your time zone. Then click apply and close. Printer setup you can cancel. Now it will again ask you to restart. Click OK. And follow the same procedure to boot directly from primary master in boot menu. Now your Windows 95 is up. It will set up some things like Internet Explorer in this wizard here. You can click next, then select country, then click next and then it will start the setup. Uh, this setup can take some time to complete. Now while Starting the VM, if you face anywhere the copy protection error, you can use the Fix95 CPU utility, extract it, make an ISO of it, and then boot from that disk. It will give you some instructions. Just go through those instructions and it will fix your issue. Now the setup is complete and you can see it automatically sets the active desktop for us. Let's install the VGA driver now. So now let's install the VGA driver by mounting the 256color.iso file. Once you see that it is mounted properly, go to properties, then to settings, and you can see that we only have 16 colors as of now. Click on advanced properties, then click on change, then click on have disk. Now click on browse and in the drive section select the CD-ROM drive D. Then double click on VBE9X. Then double click on Uni. And you can see the file VBM.inf appears on the left. Select that file. Then click OK again and you can see it has recognized VBE mini port. Click on apply. You might get these kind of errors. This is fine. Click close and then click close again. You Now you need to shut down your VM and then start it again. Close the VM player directly and click on start to start again this VM. Now we can also remove the disks that are mounted. Once the Windows 95 boots, you can already see the difference here. To confirm now, go to property settings again and you can see that we now indeed have 256 colors. You can also increase the resolution to 1024 by 768. It asks us to select a monitor device when we click on apply. So click yes and then I selected plug and play monitor from the list. Now windows will apply the resolution and you can see that we have this property set properly now.
Now let's mount back the Windows 95 ISO in the CD-ROM drive and let's install the Microsoft Plus. Go to the CD-ROM then in the plus directory run the setup file. Click on continue and give the username. Click OK to confirm and it will ask you again the product key. You can provide your product key. Click OK to continue and let's give the default location for installation now. Here you can select any option. I will select custom to choose all options which are available and then click continue. This you can click OK and then you can select no as you don't require to run any maintenance task. Click OK here. Once the installation is done, it will ask you to pick a desktop theme. Let's see, I will I will pick the travel theme. I used to have a Pentium one with Windows 95 long time back and I remember having the travel theme set on that. It will ask to restart the Windows once the setup is fully complete. So you can go ahead and restart the VM after this. Okay, now let's play some games that I have installed, starting with Skyroads. I played this on my Windows 98 VM also. This is a really good game, but requires a great deal of concentration to play. Next, let's play Prince of Persia 1. This is just a classic game which can run on a 486 hardware all the way till XP machines and even on modern ones also through DOSBox. Now let's play the next game which is Lemmings. This is a very famous game uh, although I haven't played it that much. So this is an early example of a puzzle or strategy game. It's also very fun to play. Next game we will play is Commander Keen. I haven't played this game also in the past and this is the first time I'm playing it and games that came around this era can easily run on this VM along with many MS-DOS based games. There are still few games that cannot be played on this VM due to the limitations of the CPU speed but those are like really old games like Dangerous Dave. So the last game that we'll play now is Microsoft try to bring a lot of arcade games back into the PCs and this is the Pac-Man trial which comes as part of the return of the arcade uh, trial version in Microsoft Plus. They had many other arcade games also which was bundled uh, as part of this product. So this is the classic Pac-Man game that you can play and it also has an option of uh, playing two players as well. So this is the end of this video. Hope you like this video and I hope that the steps that I mentioned here will help you build your own Windows 95 VM. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Please consider subscribing to my channel. If you like the video, please press the like button and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.